What's up guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Cleveland. Right now I'm at Edgewater Beach right next to downtown. Always a great spot to get some sweet shots of the city. Today we're gonna go shopping a little bit. We're gonna tour some luxury one bedroom apartments in downtown Cleveland. And if you're new here, I was born and raised in Cleveland before I moved to Atlanta two years ago. And I plan on staying in Atlanta. So you're wondering why are you looking at Cleveland apartments then? Well, I'm gonna tell you today along the way my two to three to four year plan that if everything were to work out as planned, I'll hopefully one day live in both cities at once. So let me explain. Let's get to the first showing downtown right now at the Lumen right next to Playhouse Square. Sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy another video. Let's go. First stop of the day is the Lumen right next to Playhouse Square. And this place is brand spanking new, just a couple years old. As you can see, it's pretty luxurious all throughout. And it's really similar to what I got going on right now in Midtown Atlanta. I think once you get used to a certain quality of living and certain lifestyle, it's extremely hard to take a step down or step back from that. So all three complexes you're gonna see today are pretty similar to what I have going on right now in Midtown Atlanta. Nice lounge areas, as you can see, sweet views of the Cleveland skyline. There is a pool here as well that you'll see in a sec. Cleveland, it's cold as hell all the time, most of the year. So the pool's only open like two or three months max because the rest of the year it's like 45 degrees out. So, and they, they did say it is heated though, so that's a huge plus. But you can see, ultra luxurious all throughout, no complaints whatsoever. They are remodeling the pool area as well. So once that is complete, it's look even better than it does now. There's also a doggy park area on the fifth floor, which is great. And I don't know why every complex in the world doesn't have this because it's such an easy thing to put in and it saves people so much hassle when their dog has to take a piss at midnight. Instead of going all the way downstairs, they can just go to the fifth floor. The gym is also really nice, really updated. I think you have everything you need in an apartment gym for sure this is uh let's see what floor is this on this is up towards the roof i don't think it's like the actual roof but near the penthouse suites sweet 360 views of the whole city i lived in cleveland for 22 years of my life and i honestly don't think i ever went up high anywhere and saw cleveland from above so really sweet view here absolutely nothing to complain about and uh yeah pretty is nice overall moving into the room washer dryer in suite of course and this room as you can see is uh pretty spacious generally for the price so this this one is the cheapest of them all and uh, this one I think is about 700 and some square feet definitely bigger than what I have now but not too oversized I'm not that big on space I'm a pretty small dude and so is my girlfriend Skylar we don't need much as you can see there is no balcony though I do have a balcony right now in Atlanta so I would love one but at the same time similar to the pool totally different stories, totally different cities. Most uh, complexes in the city do not have balconies in general because when it's 30 degrees out, you're not chilling outside. But as you can see, the bathroom is super nice as well. Carpet inside the bedroom as opposed to the hardwood outside the bedroom. And yeah, I, I think this place is uh, really, really nice. Do you mind if I call you on FaceTime? On the West Coast, so it's late night. I'ma make time if you make time. I'll make time if you make time. I just wanna see the top. With Second stop of the day was Flats at East Bank. And this is in the flats part of Cleveland. I would probably compare it to, if you're in Atlanta, maybe Inman Park, where it's older, it's more retro, but it's gentrified a little bit. And they've really developed a lot in a short period of time to make it look nicer. Great place to bar hop and go out to eat. So, moving into the room, as you can see, this kitchen is massive for one bedroom. It might be the biggest kitchen I've ever seen for one bedroom, the center kitchen island. It's like way too big. I mean, it's great, but it, it does take up a lot of space. However, the, the unit is super pretty, super updated, and no complaints whatsoever. This complex overall, I think she says eight years old. As you can see out there, it's a pretty sweet view looking into Lake Erie a little bit off the shore of Cleveland, as well as the train tracks. And there's another shot of the room. The kitchen is like so massive. It's crazy. I don't cook that much. Skylar, my girlfriend who loves to cook, she would really like that. Moving into the bedroom, I actually kind of preference if it was hard hardwood throughout. I know most places have uh, hardwood in the living room and then carpets in the bedroom. I mean, it's it's no big deal. I just preference hardwood throughout, I think. A uh, closet between the bedroom and the bathroom there, moving into the bathroom. Pretty standard. I guess I wish there was a walk-in uh, shower, but that's I'm not picky whatsoever. Double vanity though. That double vanity is insanely important to mine and Skylar Sandy. I think right now we just we just have the one vanity, so we're always bumping into into each other and trying to figure out each other's space so 
there's another shot of the view from the balcony my boys would definitely love pre-game in there one day and uh yeah i think absolutely no complaints overall this is the center courtyard that they're in the process of remodeling right now so once that is absolutely uh completes it should look pretty cool and here's some shots of me driving through the flats of cleveland i love this place Every time I come home, I gotta get a haircut from the best barber in the world, my mom, before I head back to Atlanta. We have one more apartment showing in this video later today. First, let me explain to you why I'm looking at apartments and what's going on in my head right now. So if you consistently watch my videos, then you'll know that I come back to Cleveland to see my family and my friends pretty often, like every two or three months usually. And every time I come back here, I think, wow, it's so great to be home to see my family and my friends again. I miss them so much and we're all only getting older. When it's time to settle down and get a house and have kids and a family and all that, me and Skylar have decided it will be here in Cleveland where my parents are. At the same time though, I've established a legit network in Atlanta and I freaking love living there and I don't want to leave it. I really want to stay there and be around the city. My job is going great. I've met a great group of friends that we stay in touch and hang out like every single week. And of course with YouTube, I've established a legit network and a decent sized following base where it's happened probably 10 times now where I'm out and about in public. Someone recognizes me and they come up to me to say, hey, that's pretty cool. That is essentially what is going on in my head right now. I want to be in both places, both cities at the same time. So for the last few months, I've been kind of putting together an ideal plan in my head that'll take between one to four years to get there but if everything were to work out as i plan as i envision this is what i want to happen before i move back to cleveland i want to buy property in atlanta buy instead of rent as in put down a down payment and take on a mortgage i would then lease out that apartment in atlanta when i'm not there hopefully profiting on that as in the rent i'm getting in is greater than my mortgage monthly payments and of course building equity in the process is to pay off the mortgage so once i own my own place in atlanta and confirm it's profitable from renting it i will then move back to cleveland and then rent an apartment here the cleveland market outside of this recent housing boom that the the entire country has faced has been pretty dead pretty stagnant for probably the last decade if not even more so i really have no interest in buying property here yet because it isn't gonna appreciate that much i don't think atlanta on the other hand is booming like crazy there's new development all over the place so if i invest there i'm pretty confident it would appreciate pretty well over time so that is my plan i think it makes sense i think i'm thinking clearly in my head i might do that next year i might do that four years from now i don't know but i think that is the best opportunity i have to live in both places at the same time. So when I'm back living here in Cleveland, renting here, I still have my property down in Atlanta that I'm leasing out when I'm not there, that I'm able to shoot back down to whenever I want to and continue doing everything I'm doing now in the city. Last stop of the day was the Beacon. This place is literally brand new, quite literally. As you can see, this place is so spacious as well. I don't know if in Cleveland it's just on average bigger than the one bedrooms in Atlanta. Maybe within my price point, it seems like it, but it seems like everything here is so, so, spacious and open like that um i don't know that's just something i noticed as you can see here all the one bedrooms face south looking into downtown cleveland you can see progressive field right there where the cleveland guardians play i'm a huge baseball fan these views are just like second to none wait till we get up to the roof in a little bit as you can see uh, really open space and this one i preference the layouts more than the last one because like i said it is hardwood throughout as opposed to carpets in the bedroom the walls are all white the hardwood is uh, lighter i think i prefer darker hardwood but again i mean it's whatever goes i'm not picky whatsoever i think a lot of people who search for apartments are much more picky than I am. And uh, same deal as the last one where the closet is between the bedroom and the bathroom. Again, of course, in suite washer and dryer, just like usual. Moving into the bathroom, the double vanity as well, which uh, like I said, is something we absolutely need. And our bottom move up here to the roof. Here is first the lounge area. And uh, of course, a uh, grill, another another fridge and whatnot. Moving on to the rooftop. I'm gonna stop talking. Just enjoy these views of downtown Cleveland. That is actually the first time I've ever toured any apartments in Cleveland. I lived here for a very long time before moving to Atlanta. Speaking of Atlanta, my flight is in, uh, let's see. Actually, like, I really gotta get going. It's like 
two hours from now so i gotta get to the airport next video i will be back in atlanta but for now i really hope you enjoy these three apartments we saw today in my hometown cleveland downtown is where i'm definitely gonna end up when i uh, decide to, to pack my stuff up from atlanta and move back here however like i mentioned i hope my plan makes sense and i don't know if that's gonna be one year or like four or five years from now i have no idea we'll see how it goes but i want a footprint in both cities i want to be in both cities i want to live in both cities literally got everything going for me in atlanta got my friends and family back here so hopefully everything turns out to plan we can make that work with all that being said i really hope you enjoyed another video today if you did make sure you drop me a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel because i drop a new video every single monday that you don't want to miss i'll see you back in atlanta see you next monday yeah.